you need to take some of that here and put in the front <laughs> so that we cannot see what you are thinking. You are thinking Yo, too much. You are the worst. Yep. I can see the muscles moving in your head. It I can tell you that. It doesn't me what you're saying. What I you can say, tell you, you that too. It means none of my business. Go ahead. I can tell you that too. What it's you gorgeous. It none of my business because I'm absolutely gorgeous, darling. Leave my, leave, my, um, me, leave my fire thing alone. <laughs> it's smoke detector. Yes, I will. it's called a fire thing. You know, if you make an OnlyFans sucking on that bottle, you make lots of money, right? I know. I know. Who, is yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Suck on yeah. the bottle. Let me see. Let me see. I, I, I did not see. Let me see. Let me see how much I will pay for it. Put out my mouth in the camera because no, it, it's, it's the first. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I want to see. I want to see. No, Let me see what you are doing. I will, I will, I will pay three dollars for that. I will pay, I will pay twenty naira for that. The whole time. <laughs> I guarantee there's some men out there with. Eyes yes, that's why I was I trying to go out the camera like this. Yeah, that's why I was moving out the camera. T, you are you are ready to start a, a OnlyFans? <laughs> T, T, you are ready. But because I know you cannot suck dick. I will not pay no money because I know you cannot do it. You cannot. I see it live for myself. I saw it live for myself. You try to push the sausage down your throat. It will no work. You start to gag. Practice it. You start to. You almost died, though. You almost died. You almost fucking died, though. You put the fucking sausage down your throat. You die. Too much. Too much for you. First of all. There was too many people around that day, and we will not talk about this because I do not want Boo thing to think that it's a human being we're talking about. You almost died, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So what's the All question? right, we're back. Mm -hmm. I will explain Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Who? You. Who? Me? Okay. I would, lo I would love your uh, perspective on this. If you're in a a a a, 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 a stable relationship, mm -hmm. right, and um, <laughs> and this man is you know giving you all that you need, Provi he's a provider, he's everything, everything, he's treating you like a queen yeah. and everything, and he 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 falls and slips and trips into a vagina. Okay. Would you leave, would you leave that man? If huh? I'm if I'm dating someone and we've made a commitment to be uh, monogamous, obviously, with each other, and whatever it is that's lacking in the relationship within himself or whatever it is that's lacking, I would think that he would give me the opportunity talk to me about what's lacking in our relationship so we could work on it before you go and step outside the relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If so let's say. So let's say you. Let's say he did have the conversation, and he feels like, like, like you haven't made any efforts of change. Well, that's still not a reason to violate your partner and step by the relationship. However, but it happens, and it we're, happens. we're talking about life. Okay. So I'm asking you, if that happens, are you leaving? If it happens, I would have to look within myself what i what would i put up with how am i violating myself staying in this relationship what am i jeopardizing staying my integrity to stay in this relationship how would i be able to build a trust again regain the trust be able to love this person trust him not to think that he's going to violate are me. you leaving i, yeah, I would leave are you him. leaving you would leave i would leave him because that's a serious pain that you're inflicting on me. It's not an easy thing. Pain is pain. And another thing is, if you're someone, you have to prepare yourself to be to be cheated on. You can't cheat yeah. on them. Expect them to say, "Okay, he just slipped and sl and fell into a fucking vagina." There's no slipping and falling into no bloody. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, because this is this is how I look at life. Like yeah. humans, life happens. If you're yeah. in a relationship, you're working, he's working, whatever is happening, life happen daily things happen daily and if you're in a long-term relationship for a long period of time shit can happen men have a tendency to slip up i, I and i'm speaking from just the men 
Yeah. Now, I'm not saying women don't do it. Women do it as well. But if my husband or my boyfriend or whomever, and I'm not justifying you, whoever is listening to me, I'm not justifying no bullshit. So don't. Okay. So nope. anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if my man that I've been with and I know that something is lacking and he went out there and fucked around, right? Yeah. I am not leaving my man automatically. I'm going to figure out what's happening. Now, if he's in love, if this is a love situation and he's with that person, he wants this, then that's a done deal. Yeah. But let's say he went out and met some chick and he fucked her. I'm going to figure out what's happening here. Yeah. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on here. So suppose he says to you, um, you know, I was just highly attracted to this woman and I just had to know. I was curious and I just had to know. It's nothing. I, it's not about a relationship. It has nothing to do with you know, me wanting to be with this person. I just had high curiosity and I wanted to figure it out. And now that I figure it out, um, she's not what I thought it was. And um, I'm not going to, it's not going to happen again. I don't need to ask him all those questions. But the questions are going to still be there because I'm going to tell you this. When that happened to me, I wanted to know how she felt. What did she, t like all the curiosity went through my head when that happened to me in my marriage. I mean, you understand what I'm saying to you? I my husband cheated on me. He slept mm -hmm. He slept with a stripper, okay? So it was just... Oh, he slept with one of you up top. <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, had... he slept with your co-worker. <laughs> me? No co So he slept with a stripper. And, um, it wasn't an affair. It was just the act of sex. The fact that it was the act of sex... <laughs> I decided to we go to therapy. We worked it out, right? Yeah. But again, it was very hard to actually trust this person again. Yeah. Think about your feelings, because you're. Did you go back and cheat? Did you cheat back? No, I didn't. I didn't on him. Why not? Why didn't you cheat back? Why didn't you get your revenge? Because I. It wasn't about revenge. I had children. I had a home. I had a exactly. Home. Oh, yeah, I accept that. That's another thing. So let me ask you this question. A married, because you've experienced marriage and I've experienced marriage, yeah. and that we both experienced infidelity, right? Yes. I'm going to ask you this because I know this happened to me, and I want to know from other women if this has happened mm -hmm. to you. When the infidelity happened, did you feel like you questioned your own self? Like even when you lay with him, were you thinking about if he's thinking about that other woman? You stink. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you know. Something is wrong with your vagina. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are going through something. I mean, I, I never. I was pregnant. And you stink. <laughs> I'm not even listening to this mess right now. No. <laughs> pregnant. But the fact that I was pregnant, of course, your hormones are in place. You had a yeast infection. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you like that? You, you wanted to go outside. You, you didn't want to tell you that you stink. Why are you, you have a yeast why infection. Why are you projecting your experiences onto us? So, right here, shit. Exactly. That did I was pregnant. You are making bread in your panties, and that's why you wanted to go. <laughs> told me that, you know, with any therapy that, you know, he was afraid of hurting the baby and all and all of that so and i understood in a sense when you're married or dating someone you have a sex skin for argument's sake that's what you would call me and then you actually get pregnant so now your body's changing and you're becoming so it's, it's psychologically because you're it i find very sexually so, very sexually don't listen to that you exactly exactly you didn't know you didn't know you didn't know that is it so he gave you he gave you
to, to lose? What do I have to lose? Not that if we have a whole family built together, if we have history, if we have children, if we have, you know, uh, assets together, all of these things, I'm not going to just walk away from that. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and aside from all of that, the love that I have for the person, you know what I'm saying? The love that I have for the person, I, I'm a different creature, to be honest. I'm a different person. I'm not just willing to just walk away from something that I've tried to build, that I've tried to build, right? So at the end of the day, I'm just not going to just say, you know what, F you because you made a mistake um, or, or because you, you made a bad decision. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, at the end of the day, we all make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes, and I, and I don't, I don't score either. I'm not a score keeper. So, so, so I'm not the person that's going to um, hold things and add it up and all these things. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm just not about that. You know what I mean? I, I've never been a cheater, to be honest. I've never been a cheater. And every time that I did step out, it was for valid reasons. I'm not a cheater in a relationship. I, I don't think I want to. The reason why I don't because I, I don't have the energy to, to sneak him and sneak him in and two people said, let me tell you something. I literally just remarked. Somebody, somebody, hold on, somebody just said, somebody just said, so if, hold on, hold on, so Major, hold on, let me put it real quick. So Major, if she F a next man, where they ever try to justify it, there's no justification for that. It's, 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 it's called a bad decision. It's called, it's called bad judgment, right? And at the end of the day, there's no justification for it. You understand? Um, but I'm still not walking away just because that bad decision was made, is what I'm saying to you. I'm not saying that I'm justifying the act. I'm not saying that I'm making excuses for the act. I'm saying that we all make bad decisions at the end of the day. So for me, if I have so, a lot invested, I'd rather try to work it out before I, I, I walk away. I don't see myself in a mission. She might have to struggle with that work first. You might, you, might to, you might have to. I mean, of course, of course, you still have to um, put in the work that needs to be put in for, to get to regain my trust. I mean, it's not like I'm just going to be like, oh, you fucked somebody. Okay, cool. Well, let's move on. No, that's not what it's going to be. It's going to take a lot for me to get yeah, back to where I need to be. Much. It's going to take a lot to where I need to be. Exactly. I'm not going to punish you either. I'm not going to go out there and go speak to somebody because you slept with somebody. I'm not going to lie to you. But I will tell you this much. That it, it fucks with the psychic when you find out your partner betrayed you. It's hard. Because I, I remember trying to, to, to question my own self, you know, and I saw how she looked and she wasn't even it. But even though she wasn't it, something attracted to her and it bothered me for a long time. But then I was trying to get pregnant back and forth. So, like, even being pregnant and finding out your partner, she knew that experience is one of the worst. Because your, your, your hormones are at, at a thousand and you're trying to maintain your looks while I hope this baby stay alive. Like, somebody somebody said, can trust me. I believe that. I believe, I believe, can. Can be I believe so. They equally invest and work on it. And sometimes people cheat and have affairs and then their relationship becomes even stronger. So, so let, me just, let me just keep it real because a lot of men like to, like to, like to, like to play this game and act like, you know, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Yeah. Right? Let, me, let me just keep it a book real quick because there's a lot of men on this live that talk beer foolishness, right? So let me tell you something right now, right? With all the stuff that we do as men that our women do not know about, right? That one dude that your woman slept with can never repay you, repay, repay you for the, for the amount of things that you've done as a man. Let's just, let's just be honest, right? Now, now there's some men out here that, that cheats religiously. No matter what relationship they're in, no matter what girl they get, no matter what situation they're in, they're going to cheat. There's some men that stays like that, right? Now, just because you ain't got caught, you might have got caught the one time, and your woman is going to think, okay, this is the first time I caught him cheating, so therefore this is the first time he cheated. No, he probably cheated a thousand times. But yes. Well, he got caught once, right? So her cheating that one time, her cheating that one time will never accumulate the amount of cheating that you have done. So some, some of these dudes need to keep it real with themselves at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? Some man sit down and talk about, oh, you're going to get a cheat pile, and this, that, and blah, 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 blah. She can't, she can't repay me for what I've done. Mm -hmm. do all this stuff and then what you, your girlfriend or wife do one little thing and it's the end of the world. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. So, so us as men, we can't take what we dish out. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, right? So, so, so this is my situation, right? My situation is this. All right, I'm dealing with a girl, right? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to commit to her. I'm telling her, you know, I want you to be here with me. I want you to be in my space. I want you to be here for a year. I'm telling this person that. And for the year that I'm telling this person that, I'm not getting an answer. I'm not getting any replies. I'm not getting any, um, no, 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 nothing. No, nothing. No, not, not, no. All right, give me some time. All right, this, that, and the third. So now I'm starting to entertain another woman, right? So when I entertain the other woman, and I'm entertaining the woman, not even on no, trying to be with the person, but just, just entertaining because I'm lonely at time, right? Yeah. So now I'm entertaining this person. The person who I'm asking to be here with me finds out about this woman and calls it cheating and says, you know what? I'm going to fuck somebody now because, Wait, you, because you entertain that person. But you're not. You never committed. You never gave your answer. This is my point. So for me, I can't sit around and deal with that because you deliberately went out there to fuck somebody when I was asking you to be here with me the whole entire time, right? And, and you couldn't give me an answer. Exactly. Super childish. Super childish. That, so, that, that, that to me shows lack of maturity. So no, that, that shows lack of maturity, but it also shows that I'm not the person you want to be with. Because, yeah, you, because exactly. you know what it is. You're out there. Yeah. You're out there weighing yeah. your options. Meanwhile, you, meanwhile, you got me in the corner. So yeah. you're out there weighing your options and you're saying, I, I could go back there. But you know what? Let me see what the world has to offer to me before I go back there. Yeah. So, so, so that, that's what that's registered in my mind. I'm you see, you see what you see the majority of the comments are saying? The majority of the comments are saying she didn't want you, which I believe, I believe she didn't want that. So I, therefore, I, I had to do what I did. I, 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 I think it, but she also wanted to weigh her options to see if there's something.